Now, in more local news, happening today, the federal trial for retired Navy Captain John Nettleton is scheduled to begin with jury selection. Nettleton's charged with obstruction of justice and lying to agents in connection with the death of civilian Christopher Turr. Nettleton was the commanding officer for Naval Station Guantanamo Bay in 2015 when Turr was found dead in the water. Federal investigators say Nettleton and Turr got into a fight the night before Turr was found dead, and that argument started over an alleged affair between Nettleton and Turr's wife. News for Jack's reporter Zach Lajway joins us with the latest on today's court proceedings. An autopsy determined Tor drowned. Prosecutors say they found Tor's blood inside Nettleton's home and on his dock. His death has been deemed undetermined. Last month during a hearing, defense attorneys for Nettleton reiterated their client is not being accused of homicide and they are concerned prosecutors would try to infer the jury Nettleton had a role in Tor's death. Prosecutors say they are not treating this as a murder case as they have no evidence to prove or disprove that notion. However, they did say they believe if Nettleton was honest and had not concealed evidence and lied immediately after the fight, they might have answers about what happened to Tor. According to a federal indictment, Nettleton was having an affair with Tor's wife, and when Tor confronted Nettleton during a party, the two got into a fight. Tor was found dead in the water a day later. This trial is expected to last at least four weeks. Attorneys for the government say they plan on calling upon 17 witnesses across the world. The defense listed 19 people who could testify on their behalf. Jury selection is expected to start at 8.30 this morning. In downtown Jacksonville, I'm Zach Lasry, Channel 4, The Local Station.